welcome to Ponder This, week 26. That's what we're entering into right now, middle of the year. You know what? God has been good for these past six months, and I give him glory, honor, and praise for everything that he's doing. All right. Now, as you know, Ponder This is... Uh, me endeavoring, all right, to give you a thought to ponder on throughout the day. Maybe not just the day, but it could be a seed that the Holy Spirit is planting on the inside of you. All of these thoughts are coming from my book, Ponder This. And uh, the title, of course, is Ponder This, but it said, See Thoughts for Daily Motivation and Inspiration. So that's what I'm trying to do. In just Oh, no, I don't know, three, four, five minutes at 12, 15 every day. And then, of course, some people pick us up later on in the day or week or whatever. But I pray you'll be blessed. Let's go into our thought for the day. Without purity, there is no power. Seek God all you want. But to receive all he has, we must embrace all his ways. Now, I know right there, in the beginning of that, the word purity shakes people up a little bit. They don't want you to talk about sanctification, purification, or purity. They want you to talk about power. They want you to talk about the promise of power. But when it comes to cleaning up your act, no, people don't want to hear that. But understand what Thessalon 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7 said. For God has not called us to impurity, but to consecration, to dedicate ourselves to the most thorough purity. Therefore, whoever disregards, which means to set aside or rejects this, disregards not man, but God, whose spirit he gives to you is holy, it's chaste, and it's pure. You see, if the word of God deals with the subject of purity. If the word of God defines it and lays it out as something that we should live, then my friend, with me, there's not a question. There is a laying aside of those things that the word of God says are out of order. There is a shaking off, a stepping away from, a rejecting of those things that destroy your soulish man. It destroys your thoughts. It controls you. It leads you into areas that you should not go. So, and I've said this many times here in the pulpit, purity precedes power. You want the power of God? You want the glory of God? You want the anointing of God? And you've got to understand that the blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. God bless you. Receive the word. Change your life. Tomorrow, we'll be right back with Ponder This.